Live from New York, it's New York Nick Atlanta. New York, Nick Atlanta, here in New York at the South Street Seaport, Pier 17. Check out the scenery. It doesn't get any better Steve than Steve and how you doing, Steve? Well, I, I bought the name uh, back in 73. You know, it was kind of, it wasn't that expensive, actually. You, I, I'm sorry I beat you to it. Got it cheap, didn't you? It was $37. $37? $37. $37. How did you come up with that number? Uh, that's what they were selling it for. It was a guy on DeKalb Avenue. No, I'm just kidding. Of course, uh, DeKalb Avenue being a very uh, famous place in the history of Dimas, I think. No? I don't know. At least uh, Charlie Dima, anyway. Actually, this is my cousin, Stephen Dima, and he uh, operates... Well, what is your official title here at the Seaport? What, what, what do you do? I am the crazy guy that hangs out up in the window of 91 South Street here. At the, now, I, uh, I produce the Seaport Music Festival and uh, many other things here at the South Street Seaport. Um, that's what I do. Many other things. What? Many other Many things? Other things. Well, I uh, there's. I do Children's Day at the South Street Seaport. Uh, we have a new indoor space around the corner here uh, that I produce and curate shows in year round now. And uh, there's a project called Seasons at the Seaport. I work very closely with the South Street Seaport Museum, uh, General Growth Properties, which runs the South Street Seaport, and uh, a couple of the uh, arts. Um, organizations in and around the seaport, uh, Montauk Theater Productions, uh, Shooting Star Theater, so on and so forth. Like I said, many things. Now, this is going to be like the coolest gig. How did you, like, get this gig, man? I mean, just like, it's like, it's a dream for like, you used to be an artist, uh, you used to play in a band. Um, I, I created the gig, basically. Which is always a, uh, a scary uh, thing to do. It's called River to River, which is, uh, was formed after September 11th. And, you know, it's like Sheryl Crow and Dar Williams and all this really nasty stuff that was like, you know, people, you know, concerts and stuff. And I, I kind of felt like nobody was doing shows for people who, like, really loved music and that independent music. And um, people that uh, were going to places like Bowery Ballroom and Mercury Lounge and Irving Plaza. There was nothing for them. It was all this, like, you know, big sort of corporate nastiness. And so I just I set out to kind of create the, the best free outdoor I'm club sure in New York I'm sure the City. people of New York City just love yeah, what yeah, you do. It's phenomenal, man. Yeah, I, really. It's, Children's it's, Day it's, is, a, is a, something that's very near and dear to my heart. It started at the World Trade Center actually as a way to bring people back after the bombing in 93. Uh, it was created as a way to bring families and, and uh, back to the Trade Center, to the plaza there. And uh, it continued for a number of years there. And after September 11th, moved it here. And it's grown, you know, like it's over 100,000 people that come. To wow. Us. Yeah, it's, it starts at noon. It goes till 10 o'clock at night. Target, I brought Target in a few years ago, and they've been amazing. They do a, a massive fireworks show. Beautiful. Uh, last year, I brought in the Brooklyn Philharmonic. So it's like the Brooklyn amazing. Philharmonic. Amazing. All right. Stop that. Anyway, uh, Brooklyn Philharmonic with the fireworks. Uh, it's, it's something, it's an amazing thing to behold, like a musically synced show. And uh, actually, was, last Saturday was, uh, was Children's Day, and sadly it rained. Uh, so the Brooklyn Philharmonic couldn't perform, but, uh, but we did do the fireworks. And the fireworks are rival any. I mean, it's two barges on the river. It's really incredible. It's better than Fourth of July fireworks, uh, even though we do those here as well. And it's really great. You should come. But these are, these are better. It's a Zambelli family. They're amazing. You know, they're Italian. You know, what are you going to do? I, that's, you know, I mean... Italians are like where it's at. Yeah, you they know. know fireworks. Yeah, I mean, it, I'm fireworks serious. Fireworks and free shows. I mean, They're I've been there. I've, I, I've done it. Yeah. It's, it's a beautiful thing. Free fireworks. Uh, free, free, free fireworks. Yeah. Free music here yeah. at the South Street Seaport Pier so 17. You're a, so you're a New York Nick in Atlanta. That's can, right. Can I be Atlanta, Stephen, in New York? 
Hey, you could be. You know. could be whatever you want to be. That would be cool, right? Hey, and that would be like really cool. It's Atlanta Steve here, right? Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Whole, like, yeah. Actually, uh, I was branded uh, New York Nick Atlanta on a radio show in, in Atlanta. They said, hey, man, you know, New York Nick. And Nick. how did they come up with that name? Hey, you know, it's yeah. like this. You know, I get on there, I'll talk like this, you know, and they love it. Yeah, they Except love it in Atlanta. Like you know? anymore. I, have to, no, I don't no. want to break it to you. I, I, you know, you leave me a message. It's like, what's up, cuz? It's like really weird, man. I got to tell you. It's like, so it's, are you calling me? freaking me out, man. So you call in Brooklyn. He's like, you know. So you call me like Nick the Hick? I ne no, I would never say that. I just said that, you know, like, so, what happened? What so, happened? No, wait a minute. So, so what you're telling me is that I have what a I'm southern accent? A little bit, a little bit. I, you know, I, have when a you're in York, I have a southern accent. That's bullshit. No, I'm telling you. Well, in Atlanta, they probably think you sound like Robert De Niro. But here, you sound like, I don't know. Well, name someone from Atlanta. Uh, quick. He's making fun of me. Oh, no, I'm not. He's making anyway. Fun of me. All right, so Steve. Nice to see you, man. Hey, nice to see you, too. Come back in 30 years. Uh, yeah. We'll have more to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll sit down around a bowl of some uh, spaghetti and some calamari, yeah, some mussels. Well, no calamari, spaghetti, very soft so we can actually chew it. Uh, yeah, that's true. It'll be good. New York, Nick, Atlanta, we're out. Seaport.